potatoes we all love growing them and i especially love growing them in these 30 litre container buckets in one of my last videos i spoke to you about why i believe i'm having a bad season but the reason for that I've harvested about eight of these containers so far and I'm finding all sorts of things like rotting potatoes and everything. Now in that video I have a prediction that I was going to have a bad harvest and so far out of those eight buckets I have. What we're going to do today though, we're going to look at a few more of these buckets and then we're going to assess what's going on and possibly find some alternatives. Okay so what we're going to do is just pull off all this dead stuff and some of them have got um, some rapeseed growing in them where the straw that we put on top was growing and obviously I haven't been here to pull it out. This is a variety called Rudolph. So we are empty here. This is really wet now. Tiny little potatoes. I think that was a seed. There's one there. There is just absolutely nothing to really show in here. Wow, I have had, for the first time ever, a bad year with potatoes. I am gonna add, the Rudolph I grew this year were new seed they weren't even seed i kept so um that could be a playing factor here we're going to take another bucket of rudolph now this one looks much better we've got some potatoes in this one so it's very strange that in one we had nothing and in this one we've got quite a few. And these ones look nice. Now it wouldn't surprise me this was a peat based compost. Look at the difference. The other one was peat free. Yeah look we've got some really good sized spuds here. We had hardly anything in the first bucket and we're still pulling them, all little being it, some smaller ones as well. And I want to do this relatively quickly, I'm not interested in getting out every single one for the moment, but I just want to show you where we're at with these. So let's have a look, we've got another bucket here, this one feels quite light. This one doesn't say what it was. I'm assuming by the look of this, it looks like that peat free stuff. It definitely does. Again, look, it's just nothing in you. Oh, a light. There's a potato there. Another one. Another one. And another one. But that, oh, one more. But that looks about it. Really disappointed in this. Some tiny little things. And of course they're very wet now because there's no top growth taking anything out of them. Right, one more Rudolph, and, oh no, this is a condor, so I'm not going to harvest that one. I want to see if we've got another Rudolph here. I found another bucket of Rudolph, and I want to look at these because I want to see whether or not this is down to the variety of potato, because I haven't harvested any others other than Rudolph at the moment. Now this looks like a, oh, this is very dry considering, look at that. Now I don't know what sort of soil this is, very dry, there's nothing in it. Oh I lied, there's a couple of potatoes there, another one there, 
trying to make sure it doesn't go everywhere. Oh, here's what I what I've been finding, guys. Look at this. Rotting potatoes. Look. Rotting potatoes. Another one. God, they stink as well. Rotting potatoes. I think this must have been one of the peat-free ones by the feel of it. I'm not sure. Look, there's another one. Rotting potato. Very, very strange, folks. Um, so we've just harvested four buckets of Rudolph and that is all I have had out of it. It's absolutely pathetic. I have never had potatoes like this. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and get rid of this soil and I'll be back and we're gonna harvest a different variety and see if that makes a difference. This variety here is called Condor. This is my own seed. I've grown this variety every single year for show. Um, so I need a different bucket a minute because I don't want to mix them because I want to keep the seed. And we'll have a look to see if there's any difference in the variety of potato. The other uh, difference is this is one of the new buckets with all the holes in. So, oh. look at them guys. My own seed potatoes. You don't mind having spuds like that. Oh, I have got one that has been et out by something. Looks like a slug or something like that has got into it. So I had five potatoes out of this one. But when you factor in the size of them, you know, they are huge spuds. So weight wise that's probably pretty good let's have a look to see if this continues okay again another one of these with um, hot lots of holes in the bottom and I am some seeing some slugs here so I'm not sure how this is gonna look a lot smaller in this one and again, this could be down to the compost, but oh, we're getting up to some bigger ones here. I've got to say though, really disappointed this year in the spuds. I can harvest another two of these because I need spuds for the house. And then we're going to have a little chat about why I think this is happening. Well, already we can see all the wood lice in that potato and they're still in it. So we have got a potato there, but it's no good. Yeah, some good spuds again. And I think this is peat free. Um, this is peat rather than peat free. Yeah, we've got some good spuds in this one, guys. Let's do one more. At least then I got spuds for the house. Okay. And again, we have some slugs up here. Like I said, I haven't been here doing what I need to be doing. Let's check this one out. Oh, that's more like it. Look. Yes, much better. 
And one thing I've noticed is I am not seeing any rotten potatoes. Look at that, really good. From, and I'm not going through this perfectly, but I just wanna get in there and just check some more. We'll, we'll check them out properly again. Right. And that's what we've had out of the four buckets of this one. And these are some really good size spuds, you know. So you're gonna be happy with that, guys. Right, let's have a chat. So we, oh, I tell you what. I'm gonna empty this. I'm gonna do some earlies, Charlotte. Um, just to double check across the range. I've just come in this morning now just to talk to you a little bit before this storm kicks in. It's been hammering down with rain all night. The video's gonna go live today, but I was speaking to Oaklands last night and they have told me that they're prepared to do a deal on these buckets for any of you guys that want to get them before next year so they're going to be doing 10 of these buckets for 30 pound delivered so if you want to get some of these ready in preparation for next year now's the time excuse me shouting excuse the wind i haven't mic'd up or nothing this is a bit of an impromptu uh thing so uh the link will be in the description below Okay, so this is a variety called Charlotte that I haven't harvested because I haven't been here, but I thought we'll just have a little look at these as well. Yeah, see, good spuds. So, it seems, and we've got quite a lot of these as well out of this bucket. They do want to start growing again because I've um, left them for so long. They should have been harvested a long time ago. Now, I believe that this is a peat-free compost. So maybe it's one of the better ones, I don't know. Or whether it's not just the compost. Right, okay, let's get on to the next one. So this is what we took out of that first, out of that first one. So it's not bad, it's probably about five or six pounds by there. It's... Another one there. Some nice size Charlotte in here. Well, I'm pleased with these guys. Look at them. I can see some of these Charlotte be in my tea tonight. I want to do four buckets so you can see the yield on four, like the others. So I'm sorry if this video goes on a bit, but for you who like um, potatoes, then I'm sure you won't mind. Whoops, again, look at it. That's looking good. So some of these are started sprout and we'll just break the sprouts off, we can still eat them. 
and uh, well I'm pleased with these and I think what it is with these ones or well, we'll talk about that in a moment but I think they were already grown before the weather really kicked in that hot weather we had but these ones are not too bad look they're still giving Okay, next one. Fourth and last bucket. God, that rapeseed grew well. Oh, we've got one on the top straight away. There's not much weight in these buckets, mind, I've got to say, as far as the when you pick them up. But the spuds are here. Here we are. There we are, and oh, that's come out of those four buckets with Charlotte. Let's go and have a little chat, folks, about what's going on here. Okay, so that's what we got from the Rudolph, which were brand new seed that I purchased last, well, the beginning of this year so um, ready for this season this is what we had from the condor notice no blight and they are notorious for blight those and this is what we had from the charlotte so what can we learn then well to be honest with you all the buckets I had harvested up until today were all Rudolph and they were poor, the yield was very poor, the potatoes were rotting inside, I've never experienced that before. But the seed weren't mine, they were new seed potatoes that I'd bought to bring in some new varieties, not new varieties but new sort of genetics. The condor that we've grown well they are my seed and the charlotte that we've grown they are my seed and although i thought that the peat free was going to have a massive impact it has had an impact but not as much as i thought it might now these have done really well because they had finished growing by the time the um by the time all that hot weather had come in for us but the main crop hadn't and they kept getting knocked down now don't get me wrong i've still got 60 odd buckets to to do but we've opened up 12 of them and we've got two and a half buckets of potatoes out of it um is this a great yield no not by a long shot i have this is probably the worst year I've ever had in potatoes and I put that down to three things. The first thing was the peat-free compost, okay. Um, I don't think, I think it was too rich initially and I don't think 
it was hydroscopic so it was pushing out that uh, water and not retaining it so I don't think that helped then we had all of that hot sun which the weather has played havoc this year as you guys know and then on top of that I think the seed that I purchased couldn't have been great because the seed of my own have done really well well they've done better than the seed that was purchased not as good as normal normally I'm pulling out about 15 pound of potatoes out of a bucket and then with things like first and second early Charlotte more more like six or seven pounds I think they've done about right but the main crop have really been bad and I'm putting that down to the heat and the compost so what can we do going forward well I think the main things that we can do going forward is obviously make up more of our own compost which we're doing um, I'm taking some precautions this year though I'm gonna mix it 50 50 with um, some coconut um, bark or coconut peat uh, coir if you like and I'm gonna mix it 50 50 now that will help to retain moisture I think one thing I did this year that I don't normally do as well was I cut back on the feed a little bit because of how rich that um, peat-free compost was. Um, I'd done a few tests on it and it was just plastered. And I think what's happening here is it's creating nutrient blocking because it's just too much of one thing. The plant absorbs that and then locks up so it doesn't take on any more nutrients. Um, these of course are all theories and they're all open to interpretation but you know I know potatoes will grow in my compost because I've proven it and um, we will look at more other potatoes but if you want to see what I mean by how well potatoes grow in my compost check out this video where I grew 71 pound of potatoes in my compost bin by accident I'm Tony O'Neill this is Simplified Gardening remember folks you reap what you sow and I'll see you in the next one Bye-bye.